How you doing, hey, John? Hey, all right. Thanks for sitting down with me, MP. Hey, look, when Miss Hanover sets something up, you show up and you show up on time, okay? <laughs> She's going to love to hear you say that, I'm telling you. Yeah. So now that you've had a chance to get settled, uh, what's it like adjusting in the NBA? You know, it's, it's been a lot. I feel like I'm starting to get it. And of course I have to learn new systems. You know, the NBA offenses and defenses, they're completely different. You know, I'm getting to know my teammates, but we're still growing and get more comfortable with each other. It's, it's going good. Yeah, it makes sense. And how are things going with Coach? Oh, Coach and I, we cool. You know, he's had a lot of feedback that I could try to incorporate into my game so I can help this team win, but he's been real insightful for sure. You got time for any more? Man, I actually got to run, John, but thanks for talking to me. Appreciate uh, it. You know what? I'm here whenever, MP. Just let me know. Yeah. Take care, John. Right, you too, buddy. <sighs> How is it that you always look so put together? <laughs> Are we starting the interview? No, no. I'm just saying, like, I just noticed. You know, even when you dress casually, it seems like... Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's just jump into the interview. How do you decide what to wear and what to buy? Hey, look, my biggest thing is quality first. Hey, you ever heard about that rock band that said there could be no brown M&Ms in the dressing room? Oh, for sure, yeah. I mean, I guess they were big enough to make those kinds of demands, Hey, right? but look, though, it was a test. And they knew if there were brown M&Ms, it meant someone hadn't followed directions and their stage setup probably wasn't going to be right, too. Okay. You, you following? Yeah. I'm the same way with seams. I'll expect every seam of a garment. If something's off, I know there's probably a lot more that's off, too. Look, Andrew, always start with the seams. Mm. Hey, man, respect for that, you know? I mean, look, I'm a fashion guy, but I'm not going to lie. I always peek to see what's on sale, you know? That's usually hey, what look, I buy. Look, look, look. Don't be so self-deprecated, hey. man. I've seen your socials, bro. You got you got a few solid fits, man. Oh, come on, MP. You're too kind. You're <laughs> too kind. All right, man. So <clears throat> that covers clothes. Yeah. And what about, like, accessories? Do you have any go-to accessories? Hey, look, man. It's all about the bling, 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 homie. <laughs> look, give me a chain. Give me some ice. Give me a little sparkle. Game over. Mm. I want you to have to squint when you see me coming, man. Look, my teammates, they always talking about my jewelry game, right? right? I tell them that's why we need to win the title so we can all be rocking some rings, homie. <laughs> I got you. I mean, you've given me a lot to think about, both for my writing and, honestly, for my outfit. Hey, look, look. Let me know if you want me to hook you up with my jeweler, bro. I got you. Uh, I don't know about that. I mean, I'm going to need T to give me a raise first. <laughs> 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 all right. Until next time, MP. Are they taking care of you, man. You go get that. One day. Yeah, you know, I can't complain, but we could do better. I'm gonna talk to you, Andrew. All right, man. Thanks for meeting me, MP. Hey, look, you're making this easy on me. I was gonna be down here anyway. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, I figure since every time we talk, we end up talking about your fashion choices anyway. Yeah. It makes sense to meet here, you know? Hey, look, Andrew, this is my spot. Right, right. Listen, you know, the thing I've been wondering about is now that you're dipping your toes in the fashion world, what is it about fashion that's so important to you? <sighs> I mean, it's the it's the ultimate first impression. Okay. See, look at this. Hold yeah. on. Look at all these clothes, they tell a story. Mm. You, you get to find out what people are, what they like, uh, colors, patterns, textures, all of that. It just, anything you choose to wear is telling me everything I need to know about you. That's the reality. Interesting. So what's the first thing you notice about the way someone's dressed? You know, Andrew, it's the details. Check this. You see somebody jacket, what you looking at? Mm. I'm looking at the buttons. Okay. I see somebody in the suit, I'm looking at the pocket square. Now let's work our way down to them shoes. What you looking at? I'm looking at the laces. I want to know every decision you made or didn't make before you walk out the door. Do you have a stain on your shirt? You know what I'm saying? Do your socks match your shirt? It's all about the details. Mm. Every little thing matters. Okay, I feel you. Now I'm probably gonna regret this, but let's just do it. <laughs> what do you see when you're looking at me? Uh, hey, look, it might be easier for me to tell you what advice I give you, okay? Okay, let's go with that. Hey, Andrew, it's all about the swagger, man. Look, you just need the confidence. The confidence that you can throw anything going and you can pull it off. It starts there. Mm. I mean, look, I've seen you in this before, and it's cool, right? Right? Don't get me wrong. It's uh -huh. cool, but you you can't be scared to go throw in a pattern, throw in some different shades of blue just because you try not to offend somebody. Hey, look, listen to me clearly. You can take it. You can leave it. Be the most that you can be. I mean, that sounds like good advice in regards to anything, really. <laughs> look, no doubt, man. Hey, look, I'm glad we did this. But I'm going to let you get back to shopping, okay? Okay. Yo, this place is legit, Rick. Man, come on. You know, I couldn't have you recording in some podcaster's attic. Oh, look, on my dad's studio. <laughs> Yo, that spot <laughs> never had the right acoustics. Like, I just don't know what your pops had against putting stuff on the walls. Hey, look, man, an uncluttered space is an uncluttered mind. <laughs> Whatever, hey, man. Look, hey. you need anything before we get started? You know, my boy's kind of doing us a favor, so we don't have much time. No, I'm good. Let's go, bro. All right, Tony, roll the track. Oh, this is Tony, the sound guy.
Hey, what's up, Tony? I didn't even see you, bro. My bad. How you doing? Yeah, he a little hands off, you know. He just want the artist to work. Okay, but yeah, yeah. Whenever you ready, man. It's all you. Mm. Whooping in the clouds, wings above owls. Hey now, peep the style. My game is never reviled. Yeah. Respect the technique of your chef with wet feet. Shoot it from anywhere, no stopping the step three. We talking them jet skis, no game without me. If LA get cloudy, then my talents in South Beach. Yeah. We all do it for our mothers. Burn the hoop down, they'll never recover. Mm. Hey, yo, yo, how'd that feel, man? Yo, man, I feel great, bro. Look, how'd that sound? And it sound like you got bars, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, you get all that, Tony? Yeah, you got that. Hey, you want to keep going? Yeah, come on, man. Let's do it. Man, drop that beat, Tony. Hey, man, do you work here? Can I help you? Yeah, yeah. Are you in charge of the music that's playing? Of the music? You're going to have to be more specific. Yeah, of what music you play in the store. Look, I'm trying to build up some hype around this track I just recorded, and it, it'd be great if you play it in here, man. And I know you got a lot of influential customers. Oh. Yes. Well. Here at Eric's Vinyl, we're known for our highly curated playlists. We don't do promos, we do art. Hold on, hold on. You haven't even heard the track, bro. I can tell just by looking at you that you're not a serious musician. How can you tell that, Chief? Intuition. Mm. Tell you what. Prove to me that you're a serious fan of music, and I'll put your track on our playlist for a week. Okay, how do I do that? By answering a diabolical set of trivia questions, the likes of which have never been seen. Okay, well, let's do it, Point Dexter. Is that a reference to Buster Point Dexter, a.k.a. David Johansson of the New York Dolls? I may have underestimated. Yeah, yeah, sure. Well, come on, let's, let's just do it. Which group included the members Eric Wright, O'Shea Jackson, and Andre Young? Ha, <laughs> easy. N.W.A. Hmm, you're smarter than I imagined. Who won the first Grammy for Best Rap Performance in 1989? DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince, come on. I've underestimated you. RZA from the Wu-Tang Clan sampled what cartoon theme on Enter the Wu-Tang? Gotta be underdog. Absolutely right. <laughs> I am perplexed and mortified that you were able to answer my trivia with such ease. <laughs> but I am a man of my word. Your track will be added to our playlist for a term of no greater than one week. They look all I'm asking for. Yes, I well, appreciate you. Good day. Then. MP, just the man I wanted to see. What's going on, Paul? Greg. <laughs> Greg, my bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Your manager sent me your track. Total banger. Oh, I appreciate that, man. Thank you. I'd be happy to add it to our streaming service, but I'm hoping you could help us out in return. Yeah, what you got in mind? Uh, nothing major. Just wear one of our t-shirts around the city. Just give us a little publicity. Hey, i love to, man. Really? <laughs> That's awesome. We'll add your song to the Rap Daily playlist once you do your thing in the city. Hey, good looking at it. I appreciate it. <laughs> Don't mention it. Happy to help. Hey, look, I like you, Jackson. Have a good one. You must be MP. I'm Sasha. How you doing, Sasha? Look, I'm about to just jump straight into it. I love the idea of working with you and your team, truly. No team, just me. Oh. If you want something done right, you do it yourself. And if I want something spectacular, I do it myself. And I didn't say I wanted to work with you. I said I wanted to talk about working with you. It's not the same thing. Let's talk about it. I design sportswear. Most people think that means I design sweatpants. <laughs> 
I definitely do not design sweatpants. My clothes are not meant for lounging on the couch. I work out so I look good. Why shouldn't I look good while working out? That's, that's what I'm trying to... Look, we already on the same page here. Yes, 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 yes. So, I could design something absolutely striking for you. Could, but I'm not going to waste my time if you're going to treat my passion like something to be balled up in the bottom of a gym bag. I'm Sasha, you, you designed something for me with your time and your effort. I'm going to give it to care it deserves, I'm telling you. Words are easy. I'll need a little more evidence of your commitment. I'm talking about how you dress for games, what you wear around town, how you talk about clothes and me in the press. You want me to earn it? I respect that. Here's what I'm thinking. Hey, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to show you that I'm serious about this. I shiver with anticipation. Well, if it isn't the big shot on the court. Unfortunately for you, you stepped into my arena. Prepare yourself for an arduous trial of musical trivialities and minutia from which you are unlikely to emerge victorious. Bring it. Chance the Rapper is known for wearing a hat adorned with which number? Three. Hmm, you're smarter than I imagined. Which rap classic begins with the line, Bass, how low can you go? Bring the noise by public enemy. Absolutely right. <laughs> Which golden age hip hop duo was responsible for the albums Paid in Full, Follow the Leader, Let the Rhythm Hit Him, and don't sweat the technique. That's the question. Eric B and Rakim. Absolutely right. <laughs> to be honest, I'm completely shocked. I expected much less of you. You've earned my respect. MP, how you doing, bro? What's up, Chris? Got some heavy hitters in the gym today. Zion, Ooh. MPJ, Lonzo, Ja, Wiseman. That's nice, yo. What we doing? Uh, a little three on three. Head over there and we'll get started. Alrighty, yo. What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. DEG94 here. Back with another NBA 2K mockery gameplay. But you, today we're not here to talk about the gameplay. You see the title. You know why you clicked on the video. So let's talk, man. Uh, yeah, so just a little quick update, man. I appreciate, I just want to say first off, I appreciate y'all, man, for supporting, man. I didn't think I was going to get the support that I was getting. You know, the views ain't the same, but the fact that I'm still getting the support, you know, from y'all, man, I really do appreciate that, man. That's, that's keeping me, you know, recording. That's keeping me, you know, wanting to do this and all this shit man you know you know i've been trying to get myself situated man you know moving into a whole new environment you know trying to really uh trying to really settle in man it's it's, it's been a little difficult but i'm getting it right um, I did try to go out to the kick genius thing. Something had came up. A family member needed some help. Um, you know, living out here in the South, you know, when you live out in the South, it's not like up North in the city. Um, there's not a lot, of, you know, it's, it's not a lot of bus routes that can get you home. You know, sometimes it's a lot of back roads. It's a lot of highways. You know what I'm saying? The buses is in the city. So, if you're not in the city and you on the back roads and you on the outskirts of town and shit like that, you're going to get uh, stuck. And I tried to make the Kick Genius event. I swear I tried to. But, you know, I had a family member. They got lost. You know, I, I, I couldn't leave them out there. I was, the, I was the closest one to them. 
So everybody hitting my phone up, talking about some, hey, can you can you go pick up such and such? They out here, they stranded, something happened. It's like, so I had to go out there and, you know, do 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 what was right, you know. So I did try to make the Kick Genius event. It didn't go down that way because the Kick Genius event is actually three hours away from my fuck where I'm at right now. So I would have had to have left at, like, 11. <laughs> I would have had to leave, like, around, like, 11 in the morning. Just to make this kick genius event. And I swear I was trying to, bro. I was in the gym. I was getting my shit together. My jump shot was on point. I was trying to get mobile again. You know, my, my legs was my legs was up. You know what I'm saying? I was hitting my little dribble moves again, you know. I was feeling good. I was like, man, but you know, things things happen for a reason, man. And you know, hopefully there's another event where me and uh Kick Genius could possibly link up, man, and there could be some good content going on this channel. I know that's what y'all was really anticipating, but the only reason why that didn't happen, man, cuz I had a I had a family member that just needed some help at the time. So yeah, that's that's why the Kick Genius video is not around yet and it won't be up because it didn't happen. So that's I if you want to put the blame on me, that's fine. I take the blame, but for the most part um like I said, man, I, I just got to I I I got I I'm, I'm down south. All my people was down south. So, you know, if it was me in that situation, I would want somebody to come and get me out of my situation. You know what I'm saying? That's what you want. So, I was only doing right by my peoples. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with doing right by your peoples. You know. So yeah, that's 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 really about it, man. I really appreciate the support. I'm going to do WWE. I'm going to try to finish up WWE. I'm going to try to finish that up, and I'm going to also continue on with um, Saints Row, the first one. We're gonna do Saints Row one and two. Then we'll do three. Um, as far as GTA goes, I think I was just thinking about I might as well just go ahead and do San Andreas. But if I do San Andreas, I cannot do it on um, the 360. I said if I do San Andreas, I will have to do it on. They said they're coming out with a uh, with a remastered trilogy. So if the remastered trilogy comes out anytime soon, I just do that one. They said it's supposed to come out pretty soon though. Uh, they didn't give it a date, but they said it's supposed to be a remastered trilogy of uh, Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City, and San Andreas. It's supposed to be like a remastered trilogy. It's supposed to like be ten times more better. The graphics are actually going to be enhanced and stuff like that. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know right now. All I know is. All I know is there's supposed to be some, so I'm waiting on that. So if, if if when they when they get word back on that, I'll go ahead and play San Andreas, and then we'll do Vice City, you know. Or I just get an, a PS4 because I do have those games on the PS4, but I have to get another PS4, and uh, I ain't got the funds right now to be doing that type of stuff. So what I got is what I got, you know what I'm saying? So. Like I said, it's going to be Saints Row. And once I get this cable, because like I said, I'm recording off the Elgato now. So because I'm recording off the Elgato, um, I'm going to have to uh, wait for this cord to come in. Once this cord comes in, I'll start recording WWE again and Need for Speed. Um, I'm, I'm going to try to do those two series. But other than that, though, that's really all I wanted to let you guys know. Um, I appreciate y'all, you know, rocking with me, man. Really, I really do appreciate the support. But until then, man, peace out. I'm sorry about the kick genius. I know y'all was looking forward to that. But like I said, something came up. I couldn't, you know, shit happens. That's life. In life, shit happens. Which I'll I talk about it some other time. Until then, peace out.